I, I feel like this whole thing is kind of racist because it, it seems to be under the premise that like, hey, I can make a Hamlet too and put Jesus in it because these are inner city kids who are too stupid to know the difference. No, no, they no, didn't no, no that's not that because yeah. everybody in the movie is dumb. As a matter of fact, that's a problem with the movie. The premise is clever. They have a, 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 a climax that if had the movie been better would have been genius. But yes, what they do with this, what, what they do wrong here is that they have a lot of characters that are just way over the top are you just don't buy them as the people that's supposed to be all the people who are supposed to be gangbangers in this movie. You can tell they're suburban kids who, who are actors. I mean, yeah. not even suburban kids. They're adults, the young adults who went to acting school. They can't even act Latino. I mean, they're trying too hard. Yeah. The movie is really <clears throat> trying too hard with his strange characters, with his uh, inner city kid characters, with his white stuck up characters. They all go too far with it. And to top it all off, it, there are scenes in this movie where not only the, the actors themselves are not that funny because they're going too far, but the scenes in very flat. Well, it, it re- depends on some level of you being able to, despite all his deficiencies, root for Steve Coogan's character, except, excuse me, I couldn't find a single quality about him that was likable. Not one. There's not a moment in this film that he does anything that I thought, you know what? There's a good soul or good heart inside this guy. No, he's a douchebag and you want him to fail from the get go. You know, it's like, why am I supposed to pull for this guy? See, I didn't see him. I, I didn't hate him. I just saw him as that weird guy who doesn't get it. And I was hoping that he would actually wake up at some point. And he, and he does. I mean, I, I rooted for him, but the movie ends in such a cliched way that you expect it to do. And maybe had the movie been a little bit more inspired and better then you would have accepted that. See, he doesn't wake up. The movie script contrives itself to have the <laughs> students gather around him and pull it off for him. Okay. Even yeah. then, it's like it's one of those happy accidents things. Like, oh, the play is well received in spite of itself. That yes, oh, it's it's God, garbage. Not that again. Yes, oh, it's yeah, garbage. Yeah, yeah. But everyone goes, oh, but it's such clever, self aware garbage. Or uh, it's so controversial that. Yeah. And believe me, that play that he made is shitty. It, 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 <laughs> people would look at that play and be like, yeah, this is bullshit. Get his ass out of here. <laughs> yeah. And then, can you imagine anything worse than this guy actually being a renowned success afterwards? A self important, total dickhead being. <laughs> You know what I'm saying here? Well, it sounds it sounds so much like I this, made it. Th- this has like <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it just makes me think of waiting for Guffman. Like you know, the, like the final play is really bad, but they're all waiting for you know Guffman who doesn't show up. And you know then, what? And then the next day they're back to their shitty jobs. That's a good point. That it, it was as, as if somebody saw waiting for Guffman and people see waiting for Guffman if you don't know what we're talking about. But it's a movie where people are trying to produce a play and they are so self-absorbed in oblivious to reality that they produce something really bad and of course in that movie the play never goes off but it's almost well, it does like, but what, but the guy they're waiting for doesn't show up uh, well okay i don't want to run anything for anybody but oh. in this movie it's just kind of like all right we saw waiting for guffman we want to make not such an artsy film like that was we want this to be a little more mainstream and they tried a little too hard yeah no yeah. the moments in which they try the most to make it pop accessible are the most embarrassing ones like when like i said they repeatedly remind you remember that movie dangerous minds <laughs> or perhaps you've seen mr holland's opus huh huh and, <laughs> yeah, i mean they got yeah, not like, just shit. like a subtle <laughs> reminder they actually say it <laughs> yeah I, I don't know man i i keep hearing these fucking art heads out there talking about Oh, this movie is is is, is a bright spot. In the, in the, uh, fuck y'all! You know, this yeah. movie, no, I, I saw the movie. Y'all, the reasons why I was tricked into seeing this shit, like going I, in and thinking I'm gonna go see Hamlet too. This is gonna be awesome. I sit down, I'm thinking, oh god, I missed 20 minutes of the movie. I missed some deep shit, and I'm looking at that like, man, this ain't as this, this ain't nothing. So if you if you like Hamlet too, and you didn't like The Dark Knight retire from your involvement with film is it it's oh, wait just that simple. is there somebody out there like that yes and i will not name names but i've actually met two now but i'm like really you think the dark knight was garbage and hamlet 2 was great Woo! then retire from film you're done your game is over it's over. Who is Seriously. this son of a bitch? No, I'm not naming names. No, I come on, man. You got to name some names. Because I'm sure that someday they will, like, they'll own a bar or they'll own a restaurant or something. They'll, like, find another course in life. They'll be great at it. They couldn't, go be a it sweeter, couldn't be a sweeter person. But this just ain't your thing. Okay. I, I just want to know. I don't hate them. I, I just want to know. I'm curious now. You brought it up. I, I'm not going to say. Well, come on, don't, man, you can't well, do it. I ain't saying it on the recording. The initials. You come act on. like they're going to come out uh, He's not recording right now. You can no, no. I'm not scared of that. I just don't want to hurt the guy's feelings. Feelings, that's all. I'm yeah. Stop. Okay, stop the tape. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Nick. Nick? Yeah. Nick who? Nick, you know Nick, the Nick Robinson, whatever his name is. Oh, Robinson? Nick Robinson. Yeah. And who else? Uh, just the guy I know online. Okay. Uh, 
Nick, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be a film rep. Get out of yeah, the business. Nick, how dare you, man? I saw, in fact, I was walking out. You were recording the whole time, weren't you? Because Nick needs to know. That's why. Nick, I saw Nick and I heard you saying, I heard you when, when we were, uh, before we went to see this movie, you told me early on. Who, no, Hyde told me Nick didn't like The Dark Knight. He said it just wasn't any good. And then I'm walking out of Hamlet 2 and Nick is grinning. How did you like it? And I'm like, fuck you, Nick. I ain't like this shit at all. Okay, I didn't say that, but I'm going to say it now. Fuck you, the Nick. The thing is, I love that guy. Couldn't be sweeter. In fact, he made a short film I thought was really good. Oh, well, he did a great in a, short, in a satire sort of way. I like this short yeah. film. He's actually really good, man. Yeah, he is. He knows but, I'm just playing with him. But you know what? Man. Just don't go see Hollywood films, dude, because your opinion sucks on them. You're okay, clearly... Nick, I, I didn't go that far. I was joking with you. That's my man. No, if you don't like The Dark Knight, you're dead to me, pretty much. That's all there is to it. Well, you're dead inside. Yeah, you are. It's true. Your soul is dead. Even though, Nick, yeah. as much as I like you, man, we got to talk about this. I, I, I don't understand this. Yeah, you know, yeah. normally I would never say this to anyone, ever, but fine religion, dude. <laughs> <laughs> because clearly there's something... Big empty hole well, inside. Well, the thing is, like, if you're swept up in the hype, you're no different or better than some guy who wants to be contrary to the hype. Mm -hmm. Or if you're swept up in the hype of Hamlet 2. <laughs> exactly. But the hype of Batman or the Dark Knight is overbearing and too much for you. There ain't no difference. What's surprising is that it, there actually is Hamlet 2 hype. It we is. We have a friend who does promotions, and he has, like, a jeep full of, like, just <laughs> boxes of endless amounts of Hamlet 2 shit. I mean, you see this movie, you're going, really? They thought they are going to make t-shirts and little bobblehead sexy Jesuses? But yeah, tons of this crap. When we were at San Diego Comic Con, it was like a group of like eight guys all dressed like sexy Jesus walking around. Are that you was sure them? that wasn't Buddy Jesus? Are you, sure, are you sure that wasn't just guys who dressed like Jesus for Comic Con? Everybody's in costume, It wasn't, all, it wasn't all, all hanging out together in one group? <laughs> Oh, and they were... No, I, I'm not talking about... I randomly saw different oh, guys. Yeah. I'm, I saw them all hanging out together. They were blatantly together. advertising him. Oh, yeah. so it wasn't like Jesus in a gown. It was Jesus in a tank top. Yeah, and, and, a, and a white my, beater. My first instinct would be, oh, they're buddy Jesus from James No, 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 no. They, they were Jesus in a wife beater in okay. blue okay. jeans. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, uh, look, I, maybe there's an audience out there for... I'm going to be fair. I'm, maybe yeah, I'm, Steve Coogan's family. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's John. Yeah. Cheerio. And people do like Steve Coogan and show me the big funny Steve Coogan well, thing because I still haven't seen it yet. I mean, I like 24 well, hour party people, but it wasn't like a laugh your ass off extravaganza. I like Steve Coogan. It was just a decent movie. Hey, man, no, Steve no, Coogan's no. known for getting the best heroin. Oh, okay. is he? Yes. Okay, now, nah, see, now I did not say this. Where, where, where are you getting this from? Back we, when, when, when Owen Wilson OD'd, everybody was pointing fingers at Steve that Coogan. That was a rumor. No, it, that was a man, rumor. A rumor that was printed you know, in a lot of places. Come on, man! Now you can, you cannot say this. You you can say it was rumored that he had the best. Well, you would have okay. to be on heroin it, to it think was, this is funny. It was rumored. So, it I, was rumored that that <laughs> Steve Coogan was the one who was getting him high. Mister Coogan, I know nothing about this, <laughs> but I will say about your movie, sir. That I uh, I like you. I like I, I like your movies. This particular film, I'm gonna say maybe I'm not the right art crowd for it or whatever. I'm gonna give it a rental. Yeah, uh, I was tempted to give this some old bullshit because I did really hate so much of this. But when it gets to the very end in the play itself, there's a musical number of Rock Me Sexy Jesus that I laughed out loud at like eight times just during that one number that went on for like two and a half minutes. That alone brings it up to a low rental because that was good. But you wait the whole movie for this one thing and... Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't know. I got to you know? chuckle it. I mean, I guess was, I never said anything the reason why I gave him some matinee. I just real quick before we leave. I, I thought he was funny in certain parts. I thought that even the kids, as phony as they were, they had some good lines. Yeah. Like there's that one line where he walks in. He's like, hey, gang, guess what I have? And one guy just says, your head out your ass. And that's what – and it's funny because – that's kind of what I was thinking about that character the whole time. So I heard you laugh at those scenes when he would like trip and fall or like hit his face on a door or something. No, okay, now you didn't. That's bullshit. You know I didn't do that. That's why I was. That's why I was like, why, why am I watching this? And, so. and I would just say to Steve Coogan, uh, look, forget about what I said, but look, uh, like around eleven thirty, meet me at the at the Denny's parking lot on I thirty five. And uh, Coogan, sir, I, I want to get a key. Mr. Coogan, you, you, sir. You, you know what I mean. Heroin is t so 2007. Yeah, man, no. Come on. Mr. Coogan, sir, uh, I will say nothing unless Leon had lost 50 pounds tomorrow. <laughs> then I'll know that's some good shit. Denny's parking lot, I-35 in Old Torf. After the moon's over Miami. <laughs> right.